I just remember being on the plane and I was fighting with my brother. And I remember seeing the lights. And then after that, I don't remember much, but waking up the next day. The phone rang. I remember asking him, could there possibly have been any survivors? Four people are reported to have survived an air crash in southwest Colombia. It's not yet known what caused the crash. I got a phone call in the middle of the night. We've lost a 757. I froze. I had never lost an airplane. I didn't even believe it. Donnie was instructor of the year in the Air Force. They were both technically great pilots. In 1995, I was a pilot flying the same plane, the Boeing 757. The crash really shocked me. What went wrong? When I read the cockpit voice recorder, I can't believe I'm reading about Nick and Don. It's clear they don't know where they are or where they're going. The accident investigators blame the pilots, but I know the 757 had a problem. The industry knew it had a problem. The problem with this design is that the air is compressed in an engine that leaks oil, and there's no filter between that engine and the people who breathe the air. The NTSB is failing to do their job and has not addressed this issue. Any questions that came up with the NTSB, we were there to answer. The FAA recognizes that toxic fumes jeopardize flight safety. It has no procedures to investigate such incidents. There are thousands of reports. This means that the true extent of toxic fume contamination remains largely unknown. All of these well-regarded groups are on the record saying that this can compromise flight safety. To ring. Hold up. Unbelievable that they could know about this for so long and not let the public and families know.